Hello, I'm Danielle Niederhauser, and I'm going to show you how to get a perfect Jamboree manicure quickly and easily using our amazing nail and hand care products. So the first thing I've done is remove my wraps, and I did that using our nail wrap and lacquer remover. This is the refill bottle. You can purchase the larger refill bottle, or you can purchase the small bottle that's a little bit smaller, and it comes with the pump top just like our nail prep cleanser. So I've gone ahead before we started, I removed my wraps and then I used our cuticle remover pen to remove any hidden cuticles on my nail plate. All you do is you brush this along the nail plate and you wait a minute or two. And then I'm gonna show you how with our spoon pusher, you can very easily push back all that hidden cuticle. That's extremely important. Any invisible cuticle on your nail plate is going to um, deter your wraps from staying long enough and it's going to make them lift. The cuticle remover pen is excellent as well for juniors when you're putting your wraps on um, your little ones because they tend to have more of a cuticle on their nail plate than adults do. And you'd be amazed how much I'm actually getting. It might be a little hard to see in the video, but I'm getting all this gunk off my nail plate. And you can also use an orange stick to do this, to push back your cuticles. I love the spoon pusher, which comes in our deluxe toolkit. So now I've pushed my cuticles back and I'm going to clean them off with a nail, our nail cleanser. You can use rubbing alcohol as well to prep your nails. I love our nail prep cleanser because like I said, it comes in that pump top bottle and um, it's not as harsh as rubbing alcohol. So now my nails are prepped and ready to go. The first thing you're gonna do is give your nails a good buff. And when you purchase the regular application kit, it comes with a buffer. You can also use your glass nail file, which comes in that deluxe toolkit, to do the same thing. This isn't anything crazy, you're just gonna rough them up a tiny bit. The next thing you're gonna do is size your nails. I'm doing a mix Manny with Among the Stars and Geo Moon. And I want to put Among the Stars on my pinky. So I'm gonna take my sheet and I'm going to, some people like to cut the sheet in half, I like to keep it together. I'm going to use this side. Now, I know that this one fits my pinky. I've sized it before, but I'll show you how to size. I have short nails, so I can actually cut my wraps in thirds and save the middle for my toes or for accent nails. Now, it's still on the back of the plastic here. You don't ever wanna to touch the back of the wrap. I know that this fits because when I lay it over my nail, a little bit shows on each side. Let's see if you can see that, okay? So now I'm gonna take um, my orange stick or a tweezers. I prefer the orange stick. And you can also do this when it's on the sheet to make it easier. I'm gonna peel it off using that orange stick and I'm not touching it. Now, there's a lot of different ways to apply your wraps. My favorite is the one, two, three method. So I'm just gonna make sure my nails are completely dry. And you'll notice I'm using the mini heater, which is silent. My son is actually sleeping behind me. Um, and I'm not worried about waking him up. So now I'm going to hold this in front of the heater just for about a second or two. Then I'm gonna place it on my nail. I'm not gonna give it any pressure quite yet. I'm gonna make sure it's straight and that it's not touching any skin. Then I'm gonna hold just the center of my wrap in front of the mini heater. This is a sparkle wrap, it's a little thicker. So I'm gonna use a little bit more heat. You'll notice how it curled up a little bit. I'm gonna push from cuticle to tip, 
with my spoon pusher. You can also use your thumb. Notice how much easier the mini heater is than a blow dryer would be because I'm hands free. Then I'm going to heat the other side. And I'm going to do the same thing and I'm going to push up and out. And this purple cuticle pusher you can get in a regular application kit. Then I'm going to heat the other side and I'm going to do the same thing. That's why we call it one, two, three because I'm heating the middle and I'm heating each of the sides. And I'm going from cuticle to tip with that great pressure. And that way, if you get any wrinkles or bubbles, you can push them up and out. Okay. Now I'm going to heat my whole wrap again for a couple seconds. Like I said, this is a sparkle wrap, so it's a little bit thicker. I'm going to give it a slight tug down the middle, and then a tug on one side, and a tug on the other. Okay. And then I'm going to leave it alone. And a lot of people make the mistake of trimming and filing at this point. You're not going to do that. You're going to put on your next wrap. And I'm using Geo Moon as an accent nail. And again, I have short nails, so I'm actually cutting my wraps into thirds. And I'm not going to take this one off the sheet. I'll show you exactly how I do it. Okay, it didn't touch the back. Heat it for a second second or two. These are metallic. You're going to use way less heat for a metallic. And to see the um, heat times, you can visit my um, business page or my VIP group. Again, I'm going to heat the middle and less time for a metallic wrap. Okay, then I'm going to heat the other side. It's number two. Now I'm putting that pressure and notice how there's a sliver still showing. I'm going to heat the other side. Cuticle to tip. I'll use that pressure, that good pressure. I'm going to heat it all up again one more time. Make sure that I have no wrinkles or bubbles and again this spoon pusher is great for this. Then I'm going to tug down the center one, tug down to the side two, down to the side three. And then I'm going to apply my next wrap. And this one tends to fit this finger better, if you can see that. I know this just from practice and from doing it over and over. And you want to cut off a little bit more than you're going to need because you're going to need to do that tugging. I promise with some practice you will get very good at this and you will be able to do this quickly like I am. Heat it for one to two, place it on the center, make sure it's straight. I purposely don't heat it up before totally because that way I can reposition it if I need to. Okay, I'm going to heat that center until it curls up a little bit. I'm going to go from cuticle to tip. Okay, then I'm going to do the other side. Again, cuticle out to the tip. I can use my finger to really give it some good pressure. Take the other side. Same thing. Okay. I'm going to give it some good pressure. Really push it down. This is sparkle, so it needs that little bit more heat because it's thicker. And then I'm just going to Give it a good tug down the center. One, two, three. And I'm tugging at an angle here, down over the tip. You don't want to pull too, too hard, but you it's okay to give it a little tug. It's strong. 
Now remember, I haven't done any trimming or filing yet. Okay, do one more. Put this one on. And this one is going to go on my pointer finger. And I know from experience that I need to trim this just a touch on the side. And that's fine. So that way I know that it's not going to be touching any skin. And that's what the beauty of the wraps is, is if they don't completely fit your fingers, you can size them. Okay. Notice how quiet that mini heater is. It's a thing of beauty. Okay. Heat it up for two seconds. Just enough to make it a little bit pliable so it's going to curve around your fingers. Make sure that's on there nice and straight. Okay, heat it down the center. Push up and out. Okay, heat on the side. Up and out. Okay, heat on the other side. Up and out. Give it some good pressure. Get the entire thing. Okay, make sure you get a really good pressure there. Then I'm going to pull down the center. One, two at an angle. Oops, three at an angle. Okay, all right. I'm going to skip my thumb for time's sake because my pinky should be cool by now. And this is got these lovely claws here. This is where I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to trim as closely as I can to my nail. If you have really short nails, you may be able to just file and I'll explain that in a or just clip and I'll explain that in a minute. I'm going to put all my extras here. Now you'll see how short my nails are. Now I'm going to take a nice coarse grip file and I'm going to file straight down at a 90 degree angle. Okay. Not to do too, too much. And you're going to see that at that excess is just peeling away. Okay. And any excess that doesn't come off. going to clip and you can even clip a tiny bit of your nail with it that's what I do when I apply juniors to my daughter okay and then you can either give it a buff on the tips or you can go ahead and use that glass file and give it a nice file at 45 degree angle and that's going to make it so that it doesn't catch on anything then you're just going to repeat. Straight down 90 degrees. And again, you'll see that little bit is just peeling away. And anything that doesn't peel quite away right away, I'm just going to clip. I have to keep my nails short. So I clip them. And then I'm going to give it that good little 45 degree angle with the glass file or a buffer. And that's just so you don't have any rough ends. Glass file is great for that. Okay, one more time. See, I've got this little excess hanging off here. And then a little bit. I'm just going to, the rest I'm going to clip. See that? That's what I filed off. Okay. Forty-five degrees. 
in this last one, I may not even be able to file this at all. If you have really short nails, you probably can just skip the filing part and you can just clip them. Key is to make sure that they are completely cooled before heating or before trimming or filing. Okay. I'm going to do the t shirt test. I'm going to rub these on my t shirt to make sure that they're not catching. This one still was a little bit, and now it's good. And there you have. Beautiful Jamboree manicure. You're going to keep these nails dry. You're not going to submerge them in water for a few hours. I personally like to do mine before I go to bed. And that way I know that they are um, going to set and have time to fully dry. Or fully cool, I should say. And um, you are going to avoid using cuticle oil until at least the next day. And that is how you get a beautiful Chamberry manicure. Thanks for watching.